What's up, family? Send your cigar here. You are wherever you are, hopefully practicing social distancing, staying safe, staying hydrated and all of that. All right, it's Sunday. It is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. Happy Passover. For those of you who do celebrate. So, you see where I am. Lower Manhattan, Soho, Father Fagan Park. Yes, they have called me into work again on my day off. On a chilly, chilly Sunday afternoon. I went to flick my ashes and it blew back in my face all over my clothes. That's what kind of windy it is out here today. You can see the camera shaking. I got it on the, on the tripod. The camera is shaking a little bit. That's, that's because it's windy out here. But we will muddle through. So family, as always, shout out to the medical professional, first responders, EMS workers, police and fire, postal workers, MTA workers, delivery people, truck drivers going across the country, the mom and pop shop owners, the bodega shop owners, the laundromat owners, anybody who has been considered or deemed essential personnel. Thank you for what you've been doing during the pandemic. Thank you for taking chances with your own health and safety for the health and safety of all of us in this city, in this state, in and around this country. What you have been doing, it is so greatly appreciated. Saying thank you is not enough, but we do start out by saying thank you for everything you have been doing during this pandemic. And of course, come on, fam, check in on the elders of your family, your family or friends who live alone. They need to hear from you. They need to know that they are not alone. They need to know that someone loves them. So please reach out to them, especially on a day like today, right? Find out how they're doing, all right? And remind the people within your circle of friends to do that very same thing. Reach out to their elders and their family and friends who live alone. No one needs to be alone at this particular time in our lives, and especially on an Easter Sunday. So please take the time. And that's all it's going to cost you, a little bit of time. Reach out. Find out how they're doing. See if there's anything that you can do for them. See if there's anything that they need. If this is someone you profess to love, then this should not be a problem. So please take the time to reach out to your family and your friends and the elders. All right? This shouldn't be a hard thing to do. So fam, I'm out here. You know. I don't know if it's dedication to the job or just greed, thinking that, oh, a little extra money, I can buy more cigars. It may be uh, six of one, half dozen of the other. I'm just saying. But while we're talking about supporting, let's think about all those great people that own the mom and pop shop, those great cigar shops and lounges. They need our support now more than ever. They're the backbone of the cigar industry, and they need us to come in and spend a little money. Whether it is a shop where you can come in, make your purchase, grab and go, or maybe it's a lounge with comfortable seating where you can come in, make your purchase, sit down, relax, light up, put some smoke in the air. Like uh, I'm taking care of this Asylum 13, Big Time Tommy, old school for life. Whoa, told you it's kind of windy out here, kind of windy. So now we have to try to uh, brace our, our camera, our tripod here. And uh, you may want to pair that fine tobacco product with your drink of choice, whether it be an adult beverage or a soft drink. And you know what Senor's going to do. Senor's got to do the diet. Mountain Dude. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And you might even be able to have a conversation with another brother and sister of the leaf. But you cannot do that unless you make the effort to go to that mom and pop shop. If there's a mom and pop shop in your neighborhood, close to your neighborhood, break open the piggy bank, fellas, pull your wallet out, blow the dust off, pull a couple of bucks out, jump in the ride and Make your way down to that mom and pop shop. Hashtag support mom and pop shops. Hashtag support small business. Hashtag support black business. Hashtag support Hispanic business. Hashtag support Asian business. Hashtag 
support small business. We are all in this together and we've got to take care of each other. So please, go on out to that mom and pop shop and spend a couple of bucks to keep their doors open and their cash registers ringing. So I'm not planning to be out here very long. I'm just going to be out here long enough to finish this beautiful fine tobacco product. And then it's upstairs to uh, not my usual uh, operation tonight. Tonight I'm overseeing automation systems for uh, the AM station. So that's what I'll be doing tonight. But tomorrow night it's back on the ground, you know, running the AM station. But tonight we're, we're uh, overseeing automation. And uh, there, just in case something jumps off, where, where there may be some breaking news of some kind where we have to jump in and and then I have to take control of all of the uh, stations within New York Public Radio and then we start broadcasting uh, whatever the breaking news is. So that's what we're doing tonight. So family, I'm going to continue on with this big time Tommy old school for life, baby. Yeah. So uh, I hope you all had a great Easter Sunday. Or those who are, are celebrating Passover, I hope your Passover is, is going well, that you had a great day, even with the chilly weather. Uh, and uh, we're all getting ready to start the work week, even though technically this is still, you know, my last week. The work week starts tomorrow. So we're all getting ready for that. But family, please, if you've got any plans for tonight, please just be careful. Have a plan to stay safe so you can stay healthy, so you can stay alive. We are in the midst of something we've never experienced before. This coronavirus is no joke. We have lost so many lives, too many lives, and we don't want to lose anymore. So please do not become a statistic. If you have plans to go out this evening, whether it's to a restaurant or a bar or a lounge, cigar lounge, uh, maybe you're going to see a movie or maybe you're going to see a Broadway play or whatever. Maybe you're going out dancing somewhere. But wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, please make a part of that plan. Be safe. Be safe so you can stay healthy, so you can stay alive. All right, fam? All right, that is it. That is all I got. I am that man, Senor Cigar. Enjoying my fine tobacco product. And as always, I want to wish you long ashes. And better days. Everybody, stay safe. And, uh, Stay hydrated. That's part of staying safe and staying healthy. And at some point today, I do hope you'll be able to put some smoke in the air. You know I love you like a fat kid loves cake. And I do hope to talk to you again real, real soon. And, oh, yeah, holla if you hear me. <laughs>